let you know what I've been picking up, what I've been playing. And uh, to be honest, I haven't really been picking up that much. Um, a couple of little bits I'll show you. But I've been playing quite a bit during this pandemic crazy world we've got going on at the moment. It's, um, I think, the only positive I can take from it. I've been playing a few games. Um, hope you're keeping safe. But starting off with uh, Call of Duty Warzone. I've actually been really impressed. I've never been a huge fan of sort of Battle Royale games, but I uh, downloaded this. I say so that's how sort of bored I've been trying to uh, play something new. And uh, I've been playing with Retro J. He's uh, not very well, well, I think he's very well known on YouTube. He doesn't have a channel himself, but I know he comments a lot. He's got a fantastic collection. You can uh, go over to Instagram and see it. But also, I've been playing uh, a bit with a Wii recently. I picked up a game for it. Not this, um, but I've got a modded Wii, so I, was, I, I, I use a hard drive with games uploaded onto it, ISOs. Um, I had to sort of remember how to uh, put them on again, because it was years ago when I set this up. And uh, this is uh, Legend of Sayuki, or this is actually the um, American version, which is uh, Heavenly Guardian. But yeah, really enjoyed it. It's um, like a Pocky and Rocky 3. I'm not sure, was it an official, official sequel to Pocky and Rocky? But no, pretty cool. Really like it. And then we've got Neil Vertical. BVM that I just cannot seem to film. I need a better camera, that's what I need. But this is uh, Shooting Love 2000X, and I'm not sure if I showed this last time, but I've actually been playing it quite a bit. It's a really cool game. It's like, it's all mini games, like mini games for shoot all shooters. But no, really, really cool little game. Like, obviously, that, that one you had to sort of get the cans in the bin. But really cool game. Then, it, like, once you, uh, you go through the levels, it will show you. Obviously, I actually wasn't playing, it was just. Um, plan itself so obviously the score wasn't good but yeah really cool little game really good soundtrack on it as well and I've had a bit of a shift around I've got my Vectrexes over here for the minute um, I'm not really liking how this is working out really being in front of the chest of drawers like this but I haven't really got another choice if I want to keep the Vectrex set up at the moment this is where they've got to be um, you'll see why in a bit but still love my Vectrex I, I, I want to keep it set up onto the arcades this is Fighting Hawk, um, a game a good friend Lee sent me um, to get involved in this. It's uh, had a bit of a high score challenge, which he actually beat me on. But it's it's all right. It's um, quite an easy shoot, like very approachable shooter. Um, a little bit like Flying Shark, like an easier Flying Shark. So definitely, guys, check that out. It's only got five stages. Um, I mean, I I sort of played it for quite a few hours and. I think I got up to sort of most of the way through level four. I, I reckon I could one CC that. I haven't played level five yet, but I don't know. I reckon I could one CC that bit of practice. And obviously going down the line, still loving a bit of 1942. I'd love to get like a high score safe kit for this. I don't know if there is one available, but there's a lot of clever guys on UK VAC to make me maybe knock something together. I've got Hyper Bishy Bashy back in the Astro. So I was just playing uh, Super Bishy Bashy, but Hyper Bishy Bashy is a lot more varied. Prefer that game. I'm going on to the Outrun, still gets quite a bit of love. And I'm surprised how much love this got when I showed it last time. The uh, electronic dartboard, a lot of people was wondering sort of how it worked. And basically, all the, it's got loads of little holes and that's what the soft tips pick up on. And they're sort of counters, these are like buttons as well. So, yeah, obviously the dart go in and that's how it registers. Practice is over. And obviously, <laughs> when I'm pressing that, it's, it's saying uh, you can't practice. But yeah, so these are the darts. See my lovely uh, Villa flights. But let's say they've got soft tips on them, which if that focuses, you can see. And they snap quite a lot. I've got loads of them. You buy them really cheap. I think they're about like a quid for about a hundred of them. But, um, no, absolutely love that. I'll, I'll show you a little video now. I'll put a little clip in of me actually playing it.
Right, moving on to why uh, there's been a bit of a change in the game room and why the Vectrexes have moved. And basically it's because two of the cocktails are now gone. And there's only one cocktail here now. I don't know if people will remember a video I did with Monster Mug, good friend Lee. He purchased this absolutely stunning NOS Robotron cocktail, new in the box. And he's run out of room for it and he's sort of giving it to me on a, on a loan. And to be honest, I'm scared <laughs> to actually use it. So I've got two little girls and this thing is absolutely mint. Honestly, my little girls go near it and I'm sort of pushing them away from it. <laughs> but it's a fantastic game. Um, I mean, the Wico sticks are tight as you like. It's just like, like obviously, they've never been used. Fantastic game. And the Arkanoid, um, I've sort of battered that to death in the last sort of six to eight months. So I've moved that on. I actually wanted to just sort of lend it out, but I had a couple of offers on it. So uh, I've sold it. And the Space Fighter 3D um, has gone in the bedroom. I don't know how I've got it, but the missus have said uh, it's fine. Well, she didn't say it was fine. I've literally just done it and she hasn't really said much. Um, it doesn't take up much room. I've got my uh, TV sitting on it, but I just don't want to sell it. It's such a rare game. I just didn't want to sell it. But what do you think, guys? This is an absolutely stunning game. And it's a really good game as well. I just think I've got a bit more room in here now as well with only the one cocktail. But, no. Nah. A really stunning addition for the time being. So anyway, let's uh, show me other little pickups. I say it's not much, but um, let's set the tripod up. Right, let's get on with the pickups. As I said earlier, there's not too much. I mean, it's not my usual sort of video where I leave it for three months and then show you a million things that I don't even know how much I paid or sort of where I got it from. Um, but I've got a few, uh, few lovely little bits, and th this is becoming a bit of a theme as well. I know in my last video I, I was showing you some uh, some birthday gifts, so I've been given another gift. Um, this this one from uh, Addy Sneaker Freak, who sent me a little note. Uh, Mr. Cine Steve, just something I was going to give you at Leeds, obviously Leeds Arcade Club, cancelled, gutting. Um, a few pieces by a guy I know on Insta who makes some football stroke Adidas stuff, but also sensible soccer like knows I'm a massive Sensible Soccer fan. I've played him numerous times at, at some of the events. Um, hopefully helps with the self-isolation in these challenging times. Cheers. Steve, how do you sneak free? What a legend, That's a, don't expect this. I, I know he got my address from somebody else because uh, obviously he didn't have it. But what a legend, he sent me uh, a t-shirt, Sensible Soccer t-shirt. With, uh, I know there's a, there's a pin badge in here as well. Cool little pin badge. And the funny thing is, I know this guy apparently only does sensible soccer stuff and championship manager stuff, which are two games, without a doubt, are the most time I've spent on any games in history. <laughs> sensible soccer and championship manager. Also got a lovely little coaster there as well, which I'll chuck there. But brilliant, thanks for that, Steve. Legend, absolutely legend. Right, moving on to the next pickup. It's actually uh, a Wii pickup. I know everyone's been going a bit crazy for the Wii. Um, obviously, everyone's stuck indoors, so I suppose the motion controls, the kids like them, and obviously, you can exercise with Wii Fit. Um, but this wasn't because of that. I know, obviously, I do have a tendency to uh, see something and just be like, oh, well, I've got to have it. Obviously, when things get popular. But um, I was around again, my mate Lee's, and he was showing me. Uh, is it Rhythm Tendonku? Tendoku? Like, forgive me if I've pronounced that completely wrong. Um, but I only ever got a, an arcade and a GBA port. So I've been playing it a little bit on the GBA, looking a bit of, uh, looking into the history of it. And it's actually Rhythm Paradise it was the follow-on. And also this one, Beat the Beat Rhythm Paradise. Obviously, um, Rhythm Paradise, or is it Rhythm Fever, I believe is on... Um, the DS and I quite liked it up there. Well, this one's obviously on the Wii, and there's a, also a fourth game on the uh, 3DS, which I'll look to pick up. So I do like, I do love mini games. I say pick up and play mini games and my sort of thing all day long. I haven't, I haven't got the time to learn games anymore. Um, but yeah, really cool on the Wii. I was, I was really quite impressed with it. Like obviously with motion controls, um, well not even just motion controls, but wireless controls. These games, if there's any lag, you'll know about it straight away. And yeah, can't. 
can't complain about it, but really enjoying it. Really cool little game. So definitely, uh, and it was only cheap as well. No, I, I was talking to a few of the guys on the WhatsApp group, and um, the game I was looking for was the American version, and I didn't realise, I, I obviously looked on Wikipedia, didn't realise it had a different name in power regions. Um, and usually it goes, I think, for around 15, 20 quid. But I got that for a tenner. I did like a best offer and accepted it straight away. So happy with that. Um, moving on to some Amiga games. I, I can't have a pick up, pick up video without without chatting about the Amiga. Um, and I've only got a game and an add-on. And these games, because I bought a couple of bundles. And I've actually made pretty good money on the bundles. So these games were absolutely free and quite desirable. Um, games I've never owned, highly rated. Um, but never never really played either, so uh, but as I say, I just know, obviously I've done my um, 25 sort of favourite Amiga games and this game has mentioned so much, um, like why is that not in here, and obviously it's because I've never owned it and I've never played it, but I can now right, right the wrong and it's, uh, it came from the desert. Pretty, uh, pretty desirable and fairly expensive Amiga game. This one is in pretty good shape, it's got some wear in the corner and that's about it but other than that it's in pretty good nick so uh, yeah pretty happy to get that so usually I think about a 60, 60 quid game absolutely free with the uh, with the bundle I've got and sold on and along that came sorry along with that came uh, the add-on for it Ant Heads which is obviously in a smaller box um, it's had a bit of, bit of squashing bit of wear and tear in there but all in pretty good nick overall so yeah, really, really happy to get to get those two as well. Um, it's a shame, like, because the, the Amiga bundles are, are like really good prices. As one of them was a Facebook bundle, um, which I didn't keep any of it. I think I, I had a um, an upgrade on Shinobi, and that was it. Um, and this bundle, it was quite a big bundle, and they're the only two games I've kept. It's mad, really. I think that's when you know you've got too many games where. You buy a bundle of it. There must have been, I reckon, in them two bundles I bought, the very least, 70 games, I reckon. And yeah, they're the only two. The only two I'm keeping from it. But moving on to the uh, to the last two pickups. Both of these were made from the London London gaming market. Um, I was actually working. I was working that day um, up in London. So I sort of shifted across while I was sort of Still at work. I just got picked up by my good mate Roger Cantor. I know he watches some of the videos. A massive thanks again for picking me up. Although well, I was only about a mile away, I probably could have walked here. But this was sort of right at the beginning where sort of coronavirus was getting sort of worried about. Because there was a few people at the event wearing masks and uh, even around London. So I didn't really want to be wandering around. I mean, I was actually half tempted to cancel the job I booked in for that for that weekend. Um, but I mean, fingers crossed. I mean, obviously that's what three weeks ago now, I haven't had any symptoms, so I don't think I caught anything that day. Um, cause obviously it's, it's quite big in London as well, I know there's been a lot of cases. But um, yeah, first up, um, first game I bought. I only, I only bought two things, but uh, I think I've got a bit of a bargain with this. This is uh, Thunder Force 3, the Japanese version. I know the uh, the PAL version is unbelievably rare and sought after. I believe it did it only get a German release. But I do actually want more shooters on the uh, Japanese uh, the Japanese region anyway um, the amount of times I've thought about selling up a lot of the Mega Drive filler and funding Japanese shooters um, so yeah really happy with this um, it was up 40 quid this was off uh, Quang a lot of people know Quang and uh, he done it for me for 35 so yeah Fun Force 3 really happy really happy adding that as well Cause it, it's a great game as well I've played it quite a lot um, but this obviously didn't own it, so yeah, really have to add that. Now uh, this one, I've got a bit of stick from. Um, I put it on uh, Instagram, and uh, somebody sort of asked me, "Wow, well, that, that looks great! Like, how much was it?" And I stupidly told them how much it was, forgetting that the wife follows me on Instagram. And it's uh, R-Type on vinyl. Ninety quid this set me back from Japanese Allen, Scottish Allen, whichever way you want to go. Um, now it's quite expensive but the way I was sort of looking at it I was working all that weekend and obviously getting paid for it so I was, I was sort of half getting paid to be at the event so uh, but I mean when, when do you ever see this this is uh, like an original pressing from 
sort of RM 1988 you can see down there um, I don't know if that's focusing so I can never see myself but it's not just got the R-Type um, soundtrack on it it's got uh, soundtracks from other games you see Load Runner, um, Moon Patrol uh, many other games there that I recognise Mr Heli I don't know what this game is I don't know if anyone can tell me I think there's two other soundtracks or tracks from the soundtrack there. Those two. But I mean, for the age, it's in fantastic condition. I mean, I don't know anything about it. I mean, for all I know, it could be a bloody repro. I've, I've absolutely no idea. Because um, he had a few others there. I think he had Afterburner, which never, never done anything for me. I don't think he's a repro. That's a really horrible thing to say. <laughs> um, Obviously, it'd be nice to have a like, coloured vinyl. I must admit, I do love the coloured vinyl that you get from data discs. This uh, this doesn't have that. But now I've played it, it's, yeah, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a luxury item. And I've, what I should do as well, I should do like a, uh, a game vinyl collection because I've, I've got quite a big, um, big collection of vinyl now. Mostly data discs, admittedly, but I've got a few other, like Mondo, Mondo, Vinyl as well. That's pretty cool. It's even got like the uh, what do you call that? It's just like I don't know. Instructions for what is it like piano and stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Sheet music. That is what I was looking for. Sheet music. It's that. There you go. But no, awesome. Really happy with that purchase. Even though it was probably well over. For, I mean, Alan had it up for about 120, 130 quid, something like that. So. To knock 30, 40 quid off it for me, I was really happy with. But anyway, um, that is it for the pickups. But I've got one more thing to share. Um, I know Bainster's been doing um, streaming. Like, obviously, he's been streaming God knows how much. But it's been brilliant as well. It's, it's, I think it's been keeping everyone sort of sane. Um, I know a lot of people's been sort of tuning in for his sort of 8 o'clock streams. But I know in the uh, 12 o'clock in the daytime, he's been doing um, Championship Manager streams. And... As I said earlier, Championship Manager is one of my, probably one of my favourite games, not probably, is one of my favourite games of all time. And Championship Manager 0102, I've put more hours into that than any other game. So I'm half tempted to do my own streams, just like rip him off basically, because uh, it's pretty cool. Like, we, so we all get on there, like, you'd think it'd be quite boring watching somebody play Championship Manager, because I know a lot of people's not into football anyway, but. To see like a lot of the old like football players at the old clubs and chatting about football and and uh, I know Danes has got quite a lot of stories. It, it's brilliant. So I might I'm, I'm half tempted to uh, to do my own little thing, but I'll put a little twist on it and I'm gonna I'm gonna swap switch over to um, OBS to show you what I've done. So this is what we've done. Um, I'm literally just going to I'm going to manage Villa, um, and I know it's going to be quite hard because they expect a quite high finish and I don't think their team's that good they've got a bit of an aging team with uh, people like Ginola and uh, and Merson but this is what I've done um, I've put in I've gone into the editor and put in a new team and it's youtubers youtubers united and as you can see we've got loads of people on here and I just thought it'd be fun to just put put some of my favorite tubers in here um, if I've missed anyone out, I do apologise. I mean, if you get in the comments and let me know if you want to be in there. I haven't got many places left, but if it's somebody, if, do you know what I mean? If, if it's somebody I watch, I'll put put you in there. I'll sort of um, keep people on the short list and uh, see how they're getting on. Because um, I, I haven't made them like crazy good or anything like that. I've, 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 I reckon they should be able to walk the third division. Um, but yeah, I've got Big Mike in goal. Um, with with Danestar and and uh, and Big Al, and obviously I'm not going to be picking the team. So at least then the pressure's not on me. I'm not going to uh, be getting done for like favoritism and stuff like that. But um, yeah, some of my favourite favourite tubers are on here, and I've sort of put you in positions where uh, I think you might play. Um, and I've also been guessing your age as well, which I won't really sort of. I don't really want to sort of be upsetting people. Um, but yeah, obviously we've got the likes of Stu Tootie. Um, obviously he says 25, obviously he's not 25, but obviously this is set in like 2001, but always keep your eye on your birth year. I mean, I don't know, am I close to, you can, you can, you can tell me on that, pull me up on it. 
Um, and you've got people like Holster TV, which obviously, what, how old was you, Holster, in uh, in 2001? What about, I don't know, what, eight? <laughs> I don't know. So I've had, you put, I've had to make you a little bit older on this. Um, but it looks like you're wanted as well, so you must be an art. I've made you too good. I know you used to play football, didn't you? So probably uh, probably fit in and look, the Wolves want you. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just a bit of fun. Just a bit of, Obviously, if you don't want to be in it, let me know as well and I'll take you out. But yeah, just a bit of fun. Um, bearded man child, he got in by the, by the skin of his teeth because he doesn't do YouTube anymore. It's so rubbish. You've got to get back on it. Um, but yeah. Let us know what you think anyway, guys. I'm going to do my first stream. I'm going to do it 3 o'clock Saturday. Um, and I'll, I'll do the first one for a couple of hours, see how it goes. And then, uh, yeah, and we'll go from there. But anyway, guys, until next time, YouTube, I'll catch up with you soon.